Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome to the stream. Uh, last night we finished up our run of Mass Effect 1. We finished up our Renegon, as I'm calling it. Uh, mostly Renegade, partially Paragon of our good friend Dick Shepard uh, running a soldier class. Now, tonight we're going to be starting Mass Effect 2. Uh, we're going to import the character, and I was just thinking a little bit a little bit ago that I actually had a surprising amount of fun playing my run of Mass Effect 1. Um, I had a lot of difficulty with some of the choices that I did, and you know, because we did mostly Renegade, and I don't like doing a Renegade run, mostly because uh, you end up losing a lot of content in the Mass Effect 2 and 3, and so um, that's why I did I was running a gone run with a little bit of Paragon mixed in there because I was trying to have the maximum amount of content I could have while maintaining a mostly renegade character. Um, and I had quite a bit of fun with it, you know, with the exception of those those little things, because, you know, like killing Rex was incredibly difficult to do. Uh, I really did not like doing it, but it's it was part of the run. It's part of what I set out to do uh, because killing Rex has a set end goal in mind. Um, so we do that, but I was just thinking earlier today that, you know, a lot of the problems that, um, I hear people talk about was, a, is a combat in Mass Effect 1, because the story is just immaculate. You know, the choices, the different ways you could do things, it's just incredible. And, um, people always complain about the combat, and it is true, the combat is a little dated, I'm not going to argue that, but I had a good amount of fun with it. And I was thinking to myself, you know, most of the complaints is that it sucks for a cover shooter type of mechanic. And, you know, it's really not a cover shooter. It is a shooter and you kind of can get behind cover. And it's got the sticky cover mechanic, which is annoying. Um, and it did get in the way quite often, but it's not a cover shooter. It is a space magic third person action game. Um, you know, and it has, you know, and like I said, it does have that cover, that sticky cover mechanic, but that's not where most of the game, ha you know, shines at. Yeah, you kind of duck around, you know, duck around cover, but you don't have to stick to that cover. You just kind of come in and out as you use your powers and your abilities. And even as a soldier, which doesn't really have any abilities, and I gave my bonus power was lift. So it really wasn't, um, hey, Gorbaz, how's it doing? So, and I get, you know, I ran a soldier with seven abilities, and except, you know, I gave the bonus power of lift, and that, you know, that made that a little bit less suffering. Uh, but you just duck in and out of behind objects. You duck out to use a power, and you duck back in again so you don't get shot all to hell. Uh, because if you don't go and cover, and you're, and you're at a higher difficulty, higher than normal, and even on normal this happens, if you, you know, stick your head around, you know, outside of cover, you're going to get it shot off, and you're going to die a lot. Um, you know, so it's, you're ducking, you know, in and out of sort of cover. You're not, you know, you're not taking, you're just kind of going, you're strafing left and right using your abilities. And, you know, I had a, quite a bit of fun in it. And, you know, my character got really overpowered towards the end of the game, which is the way RPGs are supposed to feel. RPGs, you're, you're supposed to feel relatively weak when you start the game. You know, that first game, you know, that first mission on Eden Prime, I, you know, almost died several times. Um, and it was tough. And that's when RPG is supposed to be. And then as you level up, as you put your points into your skills and you start getting there, you're going to be pretty OP at the end of the game. You know, and even on, you know, when I did my insanity run on Mass Effect 1, I played an adept and I ran the game with mostly Liara and Caden and we're, you know, just throwing biotic abilities everywhere. Pretty much everything was floating the entire game almost. And it was pretty hilarious to see. Um, you know, and you start off, it's, kind of hard and it was hard to do died several times but as you as you get further along in the game and you have the heavy lift the heavy singularity you know heavy lift on three of the characters that you're running with at all times you know everything's just floating all over the place and it's incredibly humorous to watch so you know even on the sandy run you feel pretty overpowered at the end of the game um and so i had a lot of fun with that you know and you know and it, it was a lot more fun than i remembered it being on soldier um and now we're coming to the same, and I'm going to be importing my character into Mass Effect 2. The difference this time than my last time, my first run of Mass Effect 1 was a soldier. And I didn't understand how you play the game. I didn't understand RPGs really in general. Um, so I didn't really know what I was doing. And then by the time I got to Mass Effect 2 and I imported that character, I very quickly switched class uh, from the soldier. And then in Mass Effect 2 and 3 of my, of my first run, I've, I had switched to an engineer. And that still is my favorite class. Um... But this time, I'm going to play Soldier. I'm going to keep it Soldier all the way through over into Mass Effect 3. 
So it is going to be completely new. I don't know how how to play a soldier. Um, so it's going to be a completely new experience for me. I don't know what I'm kind of getting myself into yet. Um, one thing that I am not sure about. Hey, and seven, how's it going? Hope you're doing well tonight. Um, one thing I'm not sure about, because I use the Paragon, Infinite Paragon and Renegade glitch in my Mass Effect 1 playthrough, which I don't regret. It may come back to bite me in the ass a little bit, but I don't regret it. Is that... Even though in both glitches, I'm, I maxed out my Renegade and Paragon score, I did have slightly more Paragon points at the end of it than I did in Renegade. Even though the scales were both full, the end score was a little bit more on Paragon. And so the at the end of the game, it says I ran, it gave me the Paragon ending screen, not the Renegade ending screen, even though I played it as a Renegade game. Um, I don't think it's going to bite me in the ass, but, you know, in Mass Effect 2, because I've done the same thing when I was doing a Paragon run, and I still did fine throughout the game. But, par you know, the morality works completely different between Mass Effect 1 and Mass Effect 2. Mass Effect 1, when you hit your, when you get your morality checks, it looks at how many skills, skill points you have in both your charm and intimidate, and it decides, based on that, whether it's going to give you your blue text or red text for the win. In Mass Effect 2, it's, I don't know exactly how it works, but it's more along the lines of a percentage or a ratio from one to the other. It, it looks at your total available renegade points and goes, what percent or what total percentage of, or total morality points available to you? And it says, okay, how much, what percentage of my total available morality points did I do renegade or paragon? And that's what it uses to go, okay, you get red text or blue text or both. Um, <clears throat> and so, like the game's going to tell me in a minute when I import the game that I did a Paragon run through, which is a flat out fucking lie because I did a Renegade run. But because of those that glitch, it tipped the balance in Paragon. Um, so what it's going to do is it's going to give me equal amount of Paragon and Renegade points to start the game. And so that's I'm not quite sure how that's going to work out. I'm pretty sure I'm still going to be OK to, to get all my Renegade checks and everything like before. But we'll see. So it might bite me in the ass, but I think it's still going to be OK. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I was hoping my lights would be a little bit more green than what they are right now. Uh, Alexa, set gaming lights to dark green. It's a little darker. It's not quite there yet. That's all right. I could see the green. I get the environment. Or I could go, um, since I'm doing Renegade, um, Alexa, set gaming lights to dark red. Okay. Yeah, oh, there it is. Show up in the, in the stream now. Uh, Alexa, set gaming lights to full power. Okay. Yeah, there we go. It's a, it's a renegade playthrough. You gotta have the, uh, you gotta have the ambiance. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I said uh, I I I hit your your uh, thing, Gorbach. That's pretty funny. All right, so we can see the red light. So we've got the right we got the right atmosphere going. So let's get started. <clears throat> ah, damn throat. All right, here we go. New game. Import Mass Effect One character. Here we go. Here is our Dick Shepard. Everyone say hi. See, Gorbots, that's why you should have headphones on so I can't talk to yours. All right, so game difficulty, one more higher than normal. I mean, I'm not going to go hardcore insanity because this is for fun, not for anything else. So we got our veteran. Auto level up, fuck no. Subtitles, yes. Yeah. Squad power usage, no. I wish that they didn't take away the defensive only. In Mass Effect 2, but because Mass Effect 2 is very much less an RPG than Mass Effect 1 was, the powers work very much differently. Like the most of the powers in this game are less defenses, defensive and overwhelmingly offensive powers in this game. You have very few defensive powers in this game unless you're running like a Sentinel um, or if you're running a Biotic and you're running Barrier. So I you can't really set the defensive power usage, which I really wish they would have done that. Um, you know, I wish this game was more RPG-like, you know, like Mass Effect 1. Mass Effect 3 does give you more of that. Um, Auto-save on. Yep. 
All right, name, Dick Shepard, rank 57. Didn't quite make it to 60, that's okay. Military specialization, soldier, psychological profile. There's that Paragon one. I ran it mostly. Yeah, subtitles are on, Gorbachev, I made sure. Um, I ran it, at, you know, I ran the game as a as a Renegade, but like I was saying earlier, because of the glitch I did, I had slightly more par Paragon points than Renegade, even though both scales were full. Status of Rex, sorry, Gorbach, but he is dead. He is dead. Dead as dead can be, dead as a door now. Missing in action, Caden. <clears throat> Both of those were kind of hard because I like using Caden more often as a squad mate and then killing him off. That was rough. And then killing Rex. Whew. And as you probably guessed it, Council is dead. This is this is the second time I've ever killed the Council in all my playthroughs of this game. So, here we go. <clears throat> The best intro in video games, period, almost. I love it. Shepard did everything right. More oh, than people hoped for. The music. Saving the Citadel, but leaving the Council to die. Humanity's place in the galaxy is stronger than ever. And still, it's not enough. Humans may control the council, but Shepard remains our best hope. But they're sending him to fight Geth. Geth. We both know <coughs> that a real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help. Even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard, they'll follow him. He's a hero, a bloody icon. But he's just one man. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose him. One month after the devastating Geth attack on the Citadel, humanity seized political control of the galaxy. Now the human-led council is forced to respond to evidence that Reapers, enormous, enormous machines that eradicate all advanced civilization every 50,000 years have returned. To quell the rumors, the council has sent Commander Shepard in the Normandy to wipe out, out the last pockets. Of, ah! I can't read fast enough, damn it! <laughs> yep. Things active. Board is green. We are running silent. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. It can't be. The stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly. It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers. Joker knows what's up. I really like seeing Joker in action in some of these cutscenes. It's a small thing, but I really like it. And here comes our friendly neighborhood spacist. better. I'm not doing this just so they can find our frozen corpses. Huh. Foreshadowing. Joker's still in the cockpit. He won't abandon ship. I'm not leaving either. We're breaking up early. Get to the damn shop. I'll hold Joker's crippled ass out of here. Commander. 
Sorry, Ash. It's not you. It's me. No, wait. It is you. Oh, that would have been perfect. They would have made that a Wilhelm scream. Make that a guy, and it would be a Wilhelm scream. That would have been perfect. <clears throat> oh, my poor baby. Oh. And y'all thought I did Rex dirty. Oh, man. You love the whole... Oh, I did too. The Joker mission's great later on. All right, here we go. I have control. Get to the cockpit. All right, let's go. Okay, wait a second here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Graphics. Brightness. Film grain. Turn that shit off. The graphics seem off to me. I'm going to have to check that, but the graphics seem way off to me. I'll look at that later. No big deal. I'll check it before tomorrow night. Dr. Chakwas, you in there? I nope, can't get into my cabin either. Assholes. And so you did the what, what do you mean, man? Yeah, I'll check the I'll check the resolution later. I thought I had it set to 1080, but I could be wrong. But either way, this still looks pretty good. It, it's all right for one for one night. Come on, baby, hold together. Hold together. Now this, I absolutely cannot wait to see this in the legendary edition. This is just, oh yeah, I did do Rex Dirty. No, you're right. I did. I absolutely did. This is gorgeous. I just, I could look at this for the whole stream. And this game is over 10 years old. Yeah, I'm not going to run it at 4K. I mean, I'm, I'm, it's a 4K TV, but I'm not going to run it at 4K. I'll run it at 1080. This doesn't feel like 1080 though. This feels more like, you know, 720 or something like that. But I'll, you know, I'll look at it again. Not, not right now. But gee, this, this is just beautiful. I mean, just the sound, the sound goes out and you're just like, oh, I mean, all you hear is your own breathing and everything else is all muffled. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I can't think of any, you know, yeah, <laughs> Deep Stone Lullaby. That really would be good music to this, but still, just the silence. I mean, I can't think of a video game in in intro off the top of my head right now that is better than this. I mean, to me, it's just one of the best intros in video gaming ever. Just, man. Even if you were to stop the intro right here, but the way the intro continues up till you really start playing the game. Oh man. The chairs. Just kind of floating around. Man. All right, let's get Joker. <laughs> don't be stupid. The Normandy's dead. Just like us, we don't get the hell out of here. No, we just have to... Oh, no. What the hell is Joker flying at this point? Everything's just busted all to hell. MGS5 intro, it is good. It's not... But I never got invested in, in Metal Gear Solid. I enjoyed MGS5. I thought it was a really good game. But I don't think it's I don't think it's as good as this on the intro. It is good. It is fun.
Gears of War 2. I played Gears of War 2. I'm trying to think of the intro to it. And I love the Gears of War games. I really enjoy it. The AC Revelations intro is really good, but it's just a trailer essentially. I mean, the tra the launch, the announcement, the announcing, the announcement trailer for Assassin's Creed Revelations, it was just the intro, just with different audio. And it is really good. I watch it all the time. I love it. But it's not this. There's no that emotional investment. You don't have, I don't feel the weight, you know, as much weight. I do feel weight in the Revelations intro, but it's not like this. I mean, the Assassin's Creed Revelations, you just got, you got Ezio, who is a complete badass, and he is showing it the entire thing. He is showing he's a badass, and he absolutely is a badass, but it's not this. You know, it's just... Mm. He is old. Yeah, you're right. He's old. He's still a badass. I mean, this, to me, this part is still part of the intro. This is still part of it. And it's just, Commander I know I said it doesn't, we're just the weight of this. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. You know, you, you could see the x-rays and look at these bones. His, still, his skeletal structure is fucked. And they're putting this all back together. I mean, so you can see how bad it is when they bring him in. He's dead. And so they're they're bringing everything back to life, and you know that looks so good how they're doing it here. You know, it's interesting. You know, you know one of the theme, major themes of the game is AI, you know, organic versus synthetic. You are from the start of Mass Effect Two. You are the mixture of both organic and synthetic. I mean, you're like the poster child for the synthesis ending of this trilogy. All right, so we're gonna keep the face that we had. So we're gonna accept the import face. So I'm, I'm gonna stay soldier, but infiltrator so much fun. Vanguard, Vanguard is so much fun. So much fun. Sentinel, not so much. I never really could get you know, anything out of Sentinel. It was just never my thing. Yeah, Sharpie Bear, I would, I looked for a mod you know, cause they've got like the Harry Shepley mod for Mass Effect 3. I looked for something similar for Mass Effect 2 and I wish they would have had it. So yeah, he's still got that Sharpie beard, but it's the, it's the closest thing to a, to a full beard that Shepard's going to get here. Adept is cool, but Biotics, Biotics, they got nerfed so hard in Mass Effect 2. They never, ever reached the, you know, the power that they had in Mass Effect 1. And it's such a shame. Because the 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 biotic abilities look really cool in you know Mass Effect two and three, but they were still never got to be as powerful. Engineer, my still my favorite, absolute favorite class. You know, and Vanguard shortly behind. But we're gonna stay with Soldier. I don't have any idea how adrenaline rush is gonna work, so this is gonna be interesting. Colonist, ruthless soldier. Yep, let's do it. Do I have all the DLC? Yes, I have all of the DLC. The the voice syncing is a bit off though. That's a little unfortunate. That's all right.
You know, one thing they never talk about in this game, and you don't have any idea about, is who the fuck is attacking the station and why? I mean, yeah, you know that you have, you know, the traitors in the building that's doing everything, but you have no idea who or why is attacking this building. All right, so let's look at my abilities. We got Adrenaline Rush, Disruptor Ammo, and Combat Mastery. Now, because of the Renegade and, you know, the Paragon, because of the way that does a percentage, I almost always try to get my Combat Mastery or, you know, whatever my, my class-specific uh, skill up first. So I'm going to get one in there. And I'm going to put one in Adrenaline Rush. Let's see, that's time bellage 50%. Duration 5 seconds, research time 4 seconds. So I'm going to put that here. And I get Concussion Shot. Disruptor Ammo is going to be on probably most of the time. Uh, I'll probably go between Cryo and Disruptor Ammo a lot of the time. Uh, cryo Ammo really isn't that great. It's just fun. No other reason. Concussion Shot. There we go. Just checking options again real fast. Graphics. Yeah, that's fine. Um, gameplay. Make sure we're still on veteran. Yes, subtitles are on. Squad power usage, no. Excellent. There we go. Level up to level three. Experience gained. Yay. Renegade points, 190. Paragon, 190. Ezo, these are all things from playing the first game. Palladium, all the elements, and money. There we go. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Easy, easy. All right, got our armor. This pistol doesn't have a thermal clip. It's a med bay. Well, keep your head down, Shepard. Shield yourself from the blast. All right, so let me look at my skills here. So drill and rush, that's good. I would like this to map to RB, yes. And this will map to LB, good, good. All right, perfect. Someone's hacking security trying to kill you. Look for a thermal clip for your pistol. Yeah, I got it, I got it. Looks like they set up a barricade to look out. Keep moving, we need to get to the shuttles. All right, all right, I could, I could dig the, uh, Adrenaline rush there. That's pretty good. I'll have to play with that a little bit more. Shepard, security makes a closing in and I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Alright, where you at, buddy? Where you at? Come on. There we go. All right, so far so good. It's not the Alliance attacking because the Alliance doesn't use a max. Well, the mechs were already here. Somebody ha somebody on the inside hacked the mechs to attack the people in the in the building. So they're, they're Cerberus mechs. <laughs> it was from Castaway. Right, so Wilson is a traitor inside, but who's attacking the outside of the ship? What's up, big guy? Oh, you're fine. Yeah, you're not... There's only one part of the game where you're actually under any kind of real time crunch. Right. Got the grenade launcher. Come on, good. Boom. Take the elevator down one floor. Hurry, get to the door. Run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up.
Excuse me. Excuse me. All right, so bypass in this pretty much exactly like console, except I got an extra step to do. So I'm gonna save scum this. So because in Mass Effect 1, if you don't get a bypass, you could just throw Omni Gel on it and you're fine. But there's no Omni Gel in this game, so I gotta be careful. Uh, start bypass. We're in the money. We're in the money. The cost of this project is astronomical. Over four billion credits. I'll take four billion credits. Nobody seems to care that we've gone over budget. I don't know where the boss gets all this money. Maybe it's better not to know. I just wish he'd kick a little more in my direction once in a while. So that's why he did it right there. He wouldn't get paid enough. <laughs> don't mess up. Yeah, that's why I'm saving before those if I can remember to. Yeah, it's interesting that, you know, they give you ideas of how fucked up you really were. I mean, it was insane. I never noticed these pictures before. This is really cool. Huh. All right. Carry on. Sorry. Can't help you, dude. Log update. I can't figure Miranda out. As project director, she should be ecstatic at all the progress we've made. But she's still the same old ice queen. Maybe she's worried Shepard might become a new favorite. Or maybe she is just a pure cold-hearted bitch. All right, now the most useless character in the game. Excuse me. What are you doing here? Thought you were still a work in progress. Who the fuck are you? Uh are you with Miranda? Yeah, sorry. I forgot this is all new to you right now. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been you know, Jacob Jacob's face just has never looked right. Damn it. Never. must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. You thought the chick on uh, Andromeda's face looked tired? <laughs> Ever since I woke up, someone's been telling me where to go and what to do. I need answers. Fair enough. I'll give you the quick version. You and your ship were attacked and destroyed. You were killed, dead as dead can be when they brought you here. Our scientists <laughs> in the last few years putting you back together. You've been comatose. Or worse that whole time. Welcome back to your life. That's... I'm having some trouble wrapping my head around this. Yeah, I can imagine. The Alliance officially declared you killed in action. The whole galaxy thinks you're dead. And if we don't get to those shuttles, they'll be right. Okay, these robots are like stormtroopers. My head is at least six inches above the edge. And they are missing wildly. I'm a time traveler. I can make time go by really slow. Oh, wait. Hold on. Uh, let's map this power. There we go. Nice, here we go. Okay. I promised I'd answer your questions. 
What do you want to know? Everything. You said they spent two years rebuilding me? How bad were my injuries? I'm no doctor, but it was bad. When I first saw you, you were nothing but meat and tubes. Anywhere else, they'd have put you in a coffin. But Project Lazarus was different. Cutting edge technology. You know, he says it was meat and tubes, but if you if you looked at the uh, the skeletal during the in, the game intro, he's not lying. For his skeleton to be fucked up that bad, he was nothing but meat and tubes, and that was it. What can you tell me about the project? Were there other test subjects? Project Lazarus only had one subject. The whole point was to bring you back. Just you. Even that was a challenge. Two years. All the top scientists. Best technology money could buy. What do you mean? Cloning? Cybernetics? I don't know the details. You'd have to ask the scientists. But I'm pretty sure you're not a clone. They wanted to bring you I hope they do better with sport. facial animations just in the uh, Legendary Edition. You just might have a few extra bits and pieces now. I got a lot of extra bits and pieces now. Do you know anything about this attack? Behind <clears throat> it? What they're after? Damn if I know. I was getting ready for some shut eye, then bam, a bunch of explosions. Next thing I know, every damn mech in the place starts shooting at us. I'm guessing it had to be an inside job. You'd need top security access to hack all the mechs. The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the lower decks didn't get out. Navigator Presley was killed by an explosion. But everyone else, including the non-alliance crew, the Asari, Liara, and the Quarian, they all made it out alive. Do you know what any of them are doing now? I don't know, Commander. It's been two years. They've moved on. Left the Alliance. Could be anywhere. Let's find them. They were my team. If they knew I was alive, they'd come back. Maybe you can track them down after we get off the station. If we get off the station. I'm Commander Shepard. Commander Dick Shepard. We're getting off the station. What's your job here? Depends on who you ask. Technically, I'm Miranda's top lieutenant. But I'm just a soldier. I served five years in the Alliance before this. Now I'm in charge of the station's security. Usually a lot more dull than this. Normally I don't fire my gun unless it's target practice. When I first woke up, someone named Miranda was talking to me over the radio. We lost contact just before I ran into you. Miranda Lawson is the station's ranking officer. She led the Lazarus team. It was her job to bring you back to life, no matter what. Should have guessed she'd try to save you. She's not about to give up on you now. You said you lost contact. Could you tell what was happening? There was some gunfire <clears throat> and an explosion right before I lost her. She knows how to take care of herself. But I hope she's okay. All right, let's go. What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best to check. You... Check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody You're wearing in seven there? armor in a Cerberus facility? Isn't that kind of Most open statement of fuck you? <laughs> yeah, you could say that. But he's an N7 no matter what. Shepard's alive? How the hell? Never mind. You need to get him out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. All right, who the fuck is that? I, I remember a Wilson checking on me one time when I woke up. That's him. He's the chief medical tech. Answers directly to Miranda. Come on. The service tunnels are this way. All right, let's go. Hostiles detected. Damn it, Wilson. This room is crawling. The whole station is crawling with mechs. I'm doing the best I can. Damn. All right. Wilson. Kind of digging this uh, this slow time thing. Just keep moving toward the control room. Don't get pinned down. I'll see what I can. Oh God, they found me. Help. Wilson, where are you? Server room B. Hurry, they're out of control. Up those stairs, Shepard. Oh God, I'm hit. They shot me. Nice acting, Wilson. No shit. <laughs>
Oh, hey, look, it's Jenkins. I mean, I mean, Wilson. Bastards got me in the leg. You were there the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> 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 on the wall. Hopefully, there's enough yep. to get him up and moving again. Grab the minute, Joe. Give my eardrums a second to recover from that one. Too many gel. All right, so just gonna map this. We'll use it. We'll use it once, maybe twice. Thanks, Shepard. Oh, Gorbach is fine. I'm just fucking with you. You saved my life. Guess that makes us even now. I thought maybe I could shut down the security mix, but whoever did this fried the whole system. <clears throat> Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Classic deflection. I was shot. How do you explain that? Uh, you're not very good at hacking and being a traitor? I don't care who set up who. Those mechs are shooting at all of us. We'll sort it out later. We need to find Miranda first. We can't just leave her behind. Uh, forget about Miranda. She was over in D wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. Haven't known her long enough to trust her. This project was Miranda's baby. She'd never sabotage it. Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. But that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few. Am I going to hear my facial scars? No, I'm not. <laughs> this is going to be fun. <laughs> uh, okay, it finished. <laughs> I'll put him right in front of him before I blew it up. <laughs> but yeah, no, I am not going to uh, heal the scars. We won't make it if he's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The it's Renegade, so I got to do the scars. I got to keep them. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. You fucking bastard. Now, this is a lie, because I have heard of them. Should I recognize that name? Mm -hmm. Maybe that's a side effect of your recovery. You and Cerberus certainly have a history. According to the Alliance, we're a radical pro-human splinter group. You wiped out several of our research bases. You know, they say Krogan women like scars, so... The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious, too. But right now, we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. Let's see... What are you after? You must have some reason for bringing me back. Tell me what's going on. All gotta come from the boss, Shepard. As soon as we're safe. We're almost at the shuttle. Okay, what did it give me here? Renegade! Yeah! Give me that Renegade. Nope, we're gonna hack data pad, but we gotta save first. Do, 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 right there. Right there. There. All right, anything else I need to look at? Nope. All right. Open the door, please. Oh, what? Here, or is that just where I'm supposed to go? All right, all right. Let's get these uh, get these thermal clips. Now this game is a cover is a cover game. I won't say cover shooter because you got all the abilities and everything, but this is a cover game. Mass Effect One, not so much. One piece. 
Whoa, who's shooting me? Hey, stop it. No means no. Oh, hello there. Oh yeah, ammo power. Thank you. There we go. All right, let's see before I hack these guys. Nope, not that one. This one. There we go. Tom Bro, but I wasn't given the the word no and its meaning. He wasn't given the safe word. So it's kind of a contradiction right there because Wilson clearly wants us dead right now, but did not want us dead originally. Yeah, it's like it's like a it's a story plot line that never got explained. You know, and there's a there's actually a couple of those in this game. Miranda, you over there? Hello? She's just being quiet. Come on, through here. We're almost at the... Miranda, but you were... Dead. What the hell are you doing? My job. Wilson betrayed us all. You should have taken him alive. See what he knew. Too risky. I've put too much time and effort bringing you back to life. Bye-bye, <laughs> traitor. Yep. Now. You really think Wilson's capable of that? Not anymore. But why? Why the fuck did he betray us? Why did he do... Why? What was the whole point of this whole thing? It was fun. It was great action. It was a great tutorial. You know, for teaching you how to play the game and everything, but why the fuck did he betray? What was he betraying? What was his goal? What was the point? I had a feeling Wilson was just looking for a chance to shoot me in the back. Good instincts. Some people are far too trusting to ever see that coming. Come on, let's grab this shuttle and get out of here. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get him to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? Convenient that you show up as we're leaving. Where were you during the attack? Besides trying to save your life? Wilson figured out I was helping you and he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon as I could. Probably a little too soon. <laughs> what about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. We can't leave without knowing for sure. We need to go back and look. Don't you get it? The only one worth saving is you. Everyone else is expendable. She's Even right. you? We all knew the risks when we signed up. Without you, there's no point to any of this. Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. <laughs> and if it don't come along? Sure I trust you. This is the only shuttle off the station. You want to stay and rot with the mechs? Be my guest. Like she would actually let that happen. You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. What does Cerberus want from me? 
Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. That shuttle's got to have one fucking crazy engine on it. questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. So fine. This is a waste of time. I feel as good as ever. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you were a colony kid. Lost your parents when the slavers hit Mindwar. You enlisted and led troops during some heavy fighting, most notably on Torfin. Do you remember taking on some Vitarian slavers? Those bastards were dug in deep in a fortified bunker. I sent a lot of good soldiers to their deaths. That's how it had to be. You got the job done. That's all that matters. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. All right. Vermeer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility. You had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the block. And I had to kill Rex. Lieutenant Caden Elenko was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave him behind? Being in command means that sometimes you give orders knowing that your people are going to die. That can't affect your decisions. Caden gave his life for the rest of the team. Without him, I couldn't have stopped Saren. He died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. Shepard... Think back to the Citadel, after the Council died on the Destiny Ascension, and you killed Saren. What happened next? You know, it's funny, the whole reason this question is in the game is because there's a bug in the, sa you know, in the saving of Mass Effect 1. The final save in Mass Effect 1 is right before you fight sovereign, the Sovereign Implants in Saren. That is the last save of the game. The The decisions you make to put Udina or Anderson on the council were never part of the save that got imported into Mass Effect 2, which is why they have they give you this choice right here. And, of course, I chose Udina because we're doing a renegade run. With the council dead, humanity stepped into power. We formed a new council. I recommended Ambassador Udina to lead it. Yes, Ambassador Udina is now Counselor Udina. He's done an admirable job of representing humanity's interests. Not sure he's done enough for humanity, but I guess that's politics for you. Your memory seems solid. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. Oh, Udina's a dickbag. And I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. <laughs> That's a cool ass space station. Alright. waiting for you in the other room. We don't get to talk to anybody right now. Alright. Let's go ahead and look at our stuff here. Let's get our armor. Got that. I do not like the collector armor at all. Flood dragon armor, terminus armor. So we got storm speed, shields. Nah, I want something I have a little bit more granular control over. Health, let's see. Visor, shield strength by five. Whoa, that's ugly. Weapon damage, capacitor helmet, recharge time of powers. I think I'm gonna go with this one right here, chest plate. Increase melee damage, weapon damage, shield strength. I'll go with that. Uh, increase shields and melee. Hmm. We'll go with shields for now. Let's see. Shields, melee, weapon damage. Yeah, I'll do this one for now. That increases strength. Shields, I'll do that one for now as well. Okay, material. I 
Let's be shiny. Let's do here. Yeah. Wait. We're doing a renegade run, so we gotta have the red in there. Ooh, dark red. That's nice. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Let's see. Let's go white. Yeah, let's do that. All right. Casual appearance. Go with that one. All right. I'm good with that. Fashionista. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. Give me some answers, asshole. From what I hear, I cost you a fortune. Why'd you do it? For the defense and preservation of humanity. I didn't spend two years and billions of credits bringing you back to serve as a common soldier. But humanity is up against the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory still intact. How are you feeling? I noticed a few upgrades. I hope you didn't replace anything really important. We tried to keep you as intact as possible. We need Shepard, just as you were when you defeated Sovereign. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers. Just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. All right. What about Cerberus? Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. Ah, oh, they switched the frickin' things around again. That's really annoying when they switch the answers around and you start doing the same one two or three times. If this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the Alliance. The Alliance is overwhelmed by the responsibility you gave them. They're too busy building relations to put resources into verifying the Reaper threat. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique. Not just in ability or what you experienced, <clears throat> but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment. And I You're killed a lot of people. Soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. If you're after the Reapers, just point me in the right direction. Miranda was worried you'd be resistant. She's not usually wrong. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Park. Dick Shepard just wants to fight and kill people. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me to trust them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. That's why I really want you. You killed a bunch of guys, pretty much. And, she saved your and I killed a big fucking robot. Jacob's a soldier. One of the or actually, Joker did. Never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. You'll be just fine with it. All right, let's go. I'll get what you're looking for and be back before you know it. Good to hear it. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? 
I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. That chair cannot be comfortable. Level four. How's his back not exactly? Maybe he's got a he's got a cybernetic spine or something. Now let's wait for all these little updates to come across. Codex, 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 codex. There it is, the renegade. That's what I want to see. The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. I can't have anyone disobeying my commands when we get there. I know who I report to. As long as you don't do anything to betray Cerberus, I'll follow your orders. <laughs> you sound jealous. Worried you're not his favorite anymore? Damn. I've proven my value to the elusive man. Let's hope you're able to do the same. Are you naturally this bitchy? Or is it <laughs> I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. Uh. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable until the disappearance. <laughs> hey, man, thanks for the bits, man. I appreciate that. And seven, Brenda's got booty. Yes, she does. They have very much accentuated her booty. Too bad they will not be accentuating her booty in the Legendary Edition, unfortunately. Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. That's helpful. I'd like to know more about the Lazarus project from the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, would have done a few things differently. What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. The but answer to that is mods. <laughs> Not on console, unfortunately. Which is where I bought it on. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. Can't say I like the idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. The elusive man is taking an incredible risk with you. <clears throat> I just hope his gamble pays off. All right, and you. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. Okay. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. I think focused. EA Play works with Game Pass. That you also have it on PC. That'd be cool. If, I mean, I know EA Game Pass, you know, EA, uh, EA Play works with it, but I still bought it. I mean, I want to support the game. So this is one of those franchises. I'll, I'll buy the game anyway. And I'll, and I'll probably end up buying it on PC later on. You know, just because many times as I play it. All right, it's goodbye. You're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can Yay, more Renegade. Jacob. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. Cerberus gave me my body back. That's worth giving them a chance. One chance. <laughs> you're still not convinced. Do you trust me, Commander? You're part of Cerberus. I'll be keeping an eye on you, too. Fair enough. I can't expect you to trust me just because I ask you. I'll just have to earn that trust. Um, it's, it's weird with Game Pass. Um, some of the stuff on PC does come with Game Pass, but not everything. So it's kind of a mix and match a little bit, but it all comes on console. So, I mean, I guess I didn't have to buy it. I could have gotten it through EA game, you know, EA play and never having to buy it before. But like I said, I want to support the game and I'll, I'll give them my money as much as I'll play it. Hey, Empress, what's going on? How are you doing? Shiny new duds. Yeah. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. Ah, okay. I see what you mean now. Yeah, you and the Alliance. the Alliance. Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. 
Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official alliance jurisdiction. Technically, we weren't part of the alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any... Corsairs kind of sounds like French Foreign Legion to me. There was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change. Is it ME2 when we you work with Cerberus? Yes. Yes, it is. The council was dead, and humanity took control of the new one. Nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. All right. That's, all that's enough for now. Yes, sir. Yeah, I got my renegade. Off to a good start. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, renegade's coming up. I got two points. Uh, let's put it into combat mastery. Thank you. Drop a save. <clears throat> All right, let's get to freedom's progress. We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us on the um, I don't. Do I really don't know if it's if it's like, if it's a copy of the French Foreign Legion. That's just what it sounded like to me. I can't say I know anything, really anything much about the French Foreign Legion, to be honest with you. All right. Other colonies. Find the other colonies? Nothing. No signs of attack, no corpses, not even a trace of unusual genetic material to give us a clue. They just disappeared. We've got no target to go after. <sighs> Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second guess you, Commander. The elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. Let's get my drink opened up. All right. Uh, odds of success. Think this investigation will turn up anything new. At other colonies, official investigators got there first. Sometimes looters or salvage teams as well. We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. Maybe five yeah, the game does look pretty good. I mean, it's it looks, looks kind of like it's running at low resolution, so I need to look at that a little bit later. But it still looks good. I still like it. Ah, do whatever it takes. We're gonna find out who did this and take him down. Nothing gets in our way. Am I clear? Perfectly, Commander. Good to have you here, Shepard. Yeah, give me those renegade points. All right, so weapons, I've got pretty much everything. So I'm not sure what I'm going to like best. We're just going to have to see. Ooh. Jacob. You got a Geth shotgun. How nice. Miranda. Let's give you the heavy pistol for now. Switch up. Let's see. I'm going to have to change my whole gameplay tactic because I've i never played this game where I have access to all the guns like this. So this is going to be a bit of adjustment for me. Empress likes Miranda, huh? Miranda is hot. I'll give you that. I like Yvonne Strahovski. And okay, nothing this way. Make sure we're looking around everywhere to pick up any no money or salvage. No signs of battle. Yep, there's some salvage. <laughs> it's a booty. She got the booty, all right. We're talking to her enemy three. It loses your team mind. <laughs> 
I don't know. I, I actually think Trainer's much better looking than uh, Miranda is, to be honest. You want a poster with Miranda? See, that's when you play this game in 4K. Wait till that, wait till that right minute in the cutscene where it's basically got Shepard behind and you got almost a full frame of Miranda's booty and you just print that out. Oh, shit. All right, let's see. Let's make sure we got these. Put you there. Jacob, you should always have that going. That was not who I told you to do that with, but all right. There we go. Oh, oh, shit. Forgot about him. Oh. Uh, sorry not to romance Trainer right then and there. Man, Trainer, I thought Trainer was probably one of the best looking uh, female characters in the franchise. I really do. Right, we got a wall safe to bypass. Let's get some meta gel. Let's save scum real fast. All right. Oh, shit. Bink. I was more hung up on Ash or Miranda. <laughs> well, I romanced Ash in Mass Effect One, so I'm gonna we're gonna see Ash. That is gonna happen. Where? Oh crap! 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 All right. Oh, it's my sweet baby Tally. You said you'd let me handle this. My sweet Tally. Shepherd? I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down. Shepherd, is that you're alive? Yeah, she's going to tell you to go fuck yourself. Yes, she will. Uh, I felt super bad after she got messed up in the beginning of it. I mean, three. Yeah, that was messed up. Yeah, don't put your point your guns at me. Tally Zora, you served on my ship. You know what I do to people who threaten me. Praza, tell your team to put their weapons away. Damn it, Tally, this is bullshit. Why would your own commander work for so <laughs> I don't know. But if this is Shepard, I don't know. Shepard would have a reason. Yeah, there's lots of pictures. There's, there's like, the, it's kind of interesting because there's several cutscenes where they really accentuate the character's ass or breasts. I know Cerberus has a bad path, but they're the only group investigating these missing colonists. The council turned its back on humanity. I have it. Tally, you aren't seriously considering trusting Cerberus. I'm not trusting anyone, Praza, but we're going to need help searching the area. One of our people was here on pilgrimage. His name was Vitor. We came to find him. Everyone else is dead. What makes you think Vitor survived? We saw him when we landed. You saw him? Then why isn't he with you already? Vitor was injured, and he was always, uh, nervous. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Yeah, we got it from here. You should head back to your ship, Tally. We'll let you know when we find Vitor. Like hell. I'm not letting Cerberus take over. Neither am I, Praza. I don't want to fight you, Shepard. But I can't just let Cerberus handle this. Besides, we need to work together. 
head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. I'm not going to fight with Tally. This is one of those times where I hate doing the renegade options. Your people really don't like Cerberus. What did I miss? They killed our people, infiltrated our flotilla, and tried to blow up one of our ships. That's not how I'd have explained it exactly. It was nothing personal. It's we always personal. Who killed who later? Right now we've got a job to do. Agreed. We work together to get to Vitor. I want to. Us to do all the dirty work while you sneak in and grab Vitor? Not likely. We're better equipped for a frontal assault than they are, Commander. If we don't work together, we're not going to get past those mechs. We're moving out. If you want your answers, get to that warehouse. The quarians are an unexpected variable. They could help us, but I'd hope to keep an eye on them. I bet they're saying I hated being so mean to her, but I got 10 radiate points, and that was awesome. We must not harm the tally. Oh, I'm not going to harm the tally. Don't worry. I love the tally. But we're not romancing her. I'm going to romance Jack. And the reason I'm not romancing tally is because of the timing of when I'm going to do her loyalty mission. It's, um, I won't have enough time to romance her. So that's why I'm not romancing her. Oh, save. Oh shit. Yeah, I definitely pissed Tally off, but that's that's uh I guess it's collateral damage from playing for playing Renegade Shepherd. So the mods I'm playing um, on this one are really just graphical mods um, and the controller mod. You know, so I'm doing like the a lot textures, the reshader, the, uh, the 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 acronym with a bunch of letters. So I'm doing all those retextures. Now, when we get to Mass Effect 3, that's when I'm really doing all the mods. Uh, this one, I'm not doing any kind of mods that really change the game or anything like that. Excuse me, guys. And where are they at? Oh, here we go. Whoa, hello. Whoa, hello there. What? What? What are we shooting at? I don't know where they're at. Shepard, and his squad rushed on the head. I told them to wait, but they wouldn't listen. They want to find Vitor and take him away before you get here. We should have expected this. Come on, we can still catch them. Uh, you misread. I and I actually didn't say what mods I was running in the beginning, so that was fine that you asked. Yeah, pretty much the same mods as I did for Mass Effect One. But like I said, three is going to be much different. I'm actually not sure what I'm going to get when I start playing three. All right. Oh, hello. Ow, 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 ow. Really, Jacob? Seriously? Why are you dead already? They did want to get to Vito first. Yeah, they should have known better. In a minute, Tally. Just a minute. I'm trying to get salvage. Uh, I got a feeling Jacob saying target down is going to get old. <laughs> Take point, Shepard. 
We'll cover the door. Heading to cover. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. Got it, got it, got it. Jacob, get over there. I don't think she's going to get up from that one. That Max got heavy armor plating. Those quarians never stood a chance. This is going to be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Nah, I'll be fine. Overlord will take out their shields. Yep, I got gotcha. you. All right, so let's do. Oh yeah, we got the big guns. Jacob's dead of already, of course. Okay, let's see if I can do this, because this is always fun to do if I can pull it off. Everybody duck! Oh, it didn't work. Damn it. If you kill them with a headshot, they're supposed to throw a nuclear explosion, basically. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. Let's go back to this gun. So it'll save. Lots of saves. Lots and lots of saves. And done. Combat looks and reminds more like of what I remember. Yeah. Uh, combat in Mass Effect 2 and 3 are very, very similar. You know, that's when it became more of a cover game. And, uh, you know, reminds me a lot of Gears of War, to be honest, as far as like how the combat, uh, the shooting combat works. Now what's this? You know, I try to avoid calling this a cover shooter because it's really not a cover shooter. Sure, it, it has a lot of similarities to a cover shooter, but I don't consider it that way. Hey, Tally. This is your chance to go find Vitor while I tend to the wounded shepherd. He's probably somewhere in the back of the loading bay. Monsters coming back. Mechs will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. Yeah, it is it's a power RPG. Yeah. I mean, you're, it's about the abilities. No Vitor, not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. Hey, I'm talking to you. Great. We come all this way, and our only witness is a babbling idiot. Swarms coming. Storm coming. Storm of swarms. <laughs> Security footage. He must have pasted it together manually. What the hell is that? My God. I think it's a collector. The hell's it doing here? I thought the collectors kept it themselves. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. 
collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you. Free. I saw the uh, the harbinger there. Why didn't the collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. Uh, let's see here. It's only a cover shooter because of your selected class. But yeah, it's all about ability management. Yeah, and I guess since I'm playing soldier, I, I kind of, it's going to be more like a shooter than any other class for me, but I'm going to still try to avoid making it about being a cover shooter. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds, machines like tiny insects. They go everywhere. They find you, then they sting you, freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes. Excuse me. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. I want to know more about the collector. <clears throat> Nobody knows much. They're so rare, a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. All right, go on, Vitor. What next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escaped. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. <laughs> what a waste of time. We finally find a witness, and he's so off his nut he can't even tell us what he saw. <laughs> Damn. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and then call the shuttle to come pick us up. You know, it's interesting you mentioned dark energy right there, and that's one of the kind of the subplots of the game. And um, they never really followed through with the dark matter or the dark energy, you know, subplot of the ga of the game. And I wish they would have. A lot of cut content behind that. Raza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. Okay, so if I was going the true renegade route, I would say, hey, Vitor has come with us, but I'm not 100% sure how um, how that affects later on. So I'm going to I'm gonna let Vitor go with him. So it's, it's one of the few uh, Paragon choices I'll do, but because of how content could change, I'm going to wait. Shepherd just savage shepherd. <laughs> oh, I can get behind that. There are times he could be pretty savage. I can't walk away from that. Not even for We'll let him we'll let him go with you. He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omni tool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepherd. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. Yeah, but Shepard's still a dick. Help you, I'll let you know. Ready for pickup. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. The data from his Omni tool should be quite useful. We're still analyzing it. But more importantly, you confirm the collectors are behind the abductions. Tell me what you know about these collectors. They periodically travel to the terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrive back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. Okay, what about the relay? Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to Collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? 
They're agents for the Reapers. It could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? What are the Collectors getting from these deals? The Collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Oh, you like that visor I put on there? I think that was a pre-order bonus, or not, well... Originally, it was a pre-order bonus, but since I bought like the deluxe edition on PC, it is part of that whole deluxe edition thing. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. The Collectors are definitely a human enemy, but how do we know there's a connection to the Reapers? Their focus shifted to humanity only after you and the human fleet destroyed Sovereign. The abductions are related. Even Reminds you of the semi-transparent helmet. Yeah, I can get behind that. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. I yeah. Waiting, but I'll need a team. A good one. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. I have six dossiers for you to begin with. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the collectors. When or a hollow helm. That's kind of like the uh, sentinel armor. Team. Be ready. All right, I'm a specter. I'm still a specter. Maybe I can get the council to help us out. If you think you can convince them, by all means. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. Keep your list. I huh. want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Where's Ashley Williams? She's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I think. Her file is surprisingly well classified. What about Tally? Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit. Where's Garrus Vakarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. And we are? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. You worry about the collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. All right, let's go. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morton Soul. Absolutely not. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the collector's paralyzing secret swarms. Careful with spoilers, Gorbach. I've played it, but other people on the channel may not have. Sounds good. What else? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. It's Joker! Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky with a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life, let me fly, and there's this. They only told me last night. Woohoo! I do like the new Normandy better than the old Normandy. I really do. The old Normandy was still pretty, though. It's good to be home, huh, Commander? I guess we'll have to give her a name. The ME3 one is the best in my opinion. Well, the ME3 Normandy is still just the same Normandy. It's just they just 
redid some of the lighting and the and basically the markings on it, but it's essentially the same ship. Level up. You that you think that makes all the difference? All right, that's fine. Everyone is allowed their their own opinion. I personally think the way they did it in me through was a little too dark. use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. Still of the normally though, it looks like a ship for badassery. It it does. Yeah, my ship, bitch. You still don't get it, do you? You're not in charge of this mission. I am. Operative Lawson makes a valid point, Shepard. Without the professor, any encounter with the collectors would result in failure. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. I love Edie, but we're doing a renegade run. Shut that thing down. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> defend it. Shepard spent a great deal of time fighting rogue AI. Geth, mostly. Plus that incident with the Alliance's Hannibal system on Luna. Your distrust is logical, Shepard. Unlike the irrational mistrust of most humans. However, I am no threat to you or anyone else. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. Now that we've established who's in charge, <laughs> let's move on to these dossiers. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Edie's artificial body is... <laughs> it is good. Joker absolutely approves. All right, armory. Yep, yep. Come on, let's move through here. Joker's a lucky man. <laughs> Am I going to encourage that romance? It's a renegade run. What do you think? And it doesn't change the content. I mean, it changes the content, but it doesn't remove content. So if it were a Paragon run or what I would consider my canon run, yes, I would encourage the romance. But this is not my normal run. Welcome aboard, Commander. So, y'all, there's a few spots that I'm doing a lot of the a lot of the Paragon stuff. One of those spots is going to be with Kelly Chambers. The reason that is is because I want her to feed my fish later on. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. <laughs> she said under. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Yeah, she will she will feed your fish. You get her you get her relationship up enough and she will feed your fish for you. This run is far from normal, but it's been a hell of a ride so far. <laughs> yeah, this is not a normal run. This is like the most uncomfortable of a run I could possibly have. You know, and still keeping as much content. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Joker would like to speak to you on the bridge. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. She is cute. Kelly is cute. Although when you do her little quasi romance, it's not really a romance. Uh, but when you do her little thing, 
you know, she'll do like a little strip tease for you or whatever up in your cabin if you haven't romanced anybody else. And it's really awkward. I mean, it's just super, super awkward. We've had Shepard complete badass and jokes galore. Yeah, this Shepard doesn't joke a whole lot, but definitely badass. What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows the keyboard is going to sit down. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound? Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full time job, and it's most effective when done informally. We're All right. Someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. What else would you like to know? All right. And we think of Cerberus. This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Yeah, I'm secret psychologist. But Cerberus has no. She's given reports back to the elusive man. Human interests, advance human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. It sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity. But that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. That is not <laughs> that is not a good like comparison. Corian, Turian, Solarian, Panar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus ideals. Yeah, you're a little naive. You're fooling yourself if you believe Cerberus is noble. I'm sorry you feel that way. I hope time will change your mind. That that's a renegade Anything one there. Like to talk about? How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the elusive man to help fight the greatest threat. No you would almost say that's spacist. No, that's reserved for Ashley. Ashley is the Mass Effect spacist. Under your leadership, we can't fail. Don't worry. We'll defeat the Collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you. <laughs> drop you. <laughs> Not going to do that. I got to have her feed my fish later. I might do more than catch you, Kelly. Now that's an enticing thought. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I better go. Okay. Maybe. All right. we'll talk later. Maybe. Let's go look at emails. Okay, what did I do as far as my uh, renegade paragon? Hey, oh, yes. I actually got more renegade from that one. Sweet. Unread messages. Oh, we got a lot. All right. From Anderson. That's for Zaid. Firewalker. Normandy crash site. Cerberus armor. Terminus armor. Collector rifle and armor. Visor. Lots of stuff. We're doing the deluxe edition. Kasumi Goto. Plasma shotgun. That's what Jake had, uh, Jacob had earlier. All right. Got all our mail. Free XP by examining that, I think. Or is it just Codex? I can't remember. Nah, just Codex. All right. That's fine. Close shutters, close doors, open doors. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby. Better than new. It fits me like a glove. And leather seats. Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. Reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. <laughs> I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. I don't trust them. We still need to move ahead, but it's all too convenient. Maybe you're right. I guess it's hard to argue when they install an AI to spy on us. <laughs> you're staying though, right? I mean, the seat is real leather. Good to see you're keeping it all in perspective, Joker. 
weather. <laughs> right, I can't remember if he has if I can get par renegade points from Edie here. No, That's okay. For now. Logging you out, ah, I need to trim my mustache. It's all itchy. All right, let's go see if we can get some renegade points from Jacob. Yeah, Joker's amazing. I love Joker. Seth Green does a really good job. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want That's to say all right. With you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. You're here because you're server. Ouch. Don't expect special treatment. Understood. But not everyone in the group is hard line. I'm an employee because I believe in their current direction. Doesn't mean I don't have concerns about their past actions. Or some of yours. Oh, you touche. Watch me, I'll watch you. That suits you? What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. If you follow orders and keep to yourself, we'll have no problem. Fair enough, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. God, Jacob is such a tool. I really don't like Jacob at all. Commander, you received a new message. What? I just checked my email. What the hell? All right. All right, crew quarters. Interesting dialogue in here. Oh, she's a cutie. How old? Ah, uh, she'll be a year old next month. Oh. Where's the picture? I want to see the picture. My family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Could be vulnerable to collector attack. Donnelly is the best. Uh, Donnelly, that's the engineer, right? I think it's the engineer. I think, I think that's what that's the girl engineer, isn't it? Dr. Chakwas. Commander Shepard. I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. Good to I see you to too. Familiar face, Doctor. I feel the same. I wish more of the original crew could be here. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Are, are, have you Welcome not back, known? Do you not know about all the robot parts I got in my body now? I think I've changed quite a bit. Daniels is a girl. Okay. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. It's completely different than the original Normandy. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. Yeah, I'll get you one. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. And I'm going to be rich. Okay, not worried about that. Later, doctor. Commander. All right. Talk to Gardner. Rupert, Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. Yes, I did. Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? What do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. HVAC, plumbing, non-mission critical electrical. I make sure they're all clean and running. <laughs> So the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals. I wash my hands. Most of the time. Most of the time. This ain't no luxury liner. You have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel. And I catch what falls through the cracks. <laughs> through the cracks. <laughs> through the cracks. Oh, I forgot he said that too. <laughs> How do you feel about working for Cerberus? Damn proud. Cerberus gets the job done. The Alliance and Council have got their heads buried so 
deep up their butt puckers they can't see squat. It'll take good old human ingenuity to crush these collector vermin. Only Cerberus knows that. How did you find your way into Cerberus? <clears throat> Can you believe I was once a family man, working the Ezo rigs along the frontier? I was happy enough, but losing everything to Batarian Raiders can change your outlook. Oh, is he on Mendwar or something? I'm no soldier, but I've got skills, and Cerberus keeps an eye out for talent. I'll do whatever it takes to help. Be that plumbing a sewer, routing an air duct, or keeping everyone's bellies full. Fair enough. You have everything you need. I make do, but have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. Yeah, I'll help out. If I had some quality ingredients... Oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. Yeah, give me the list. That way I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I nope. won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Back to work. Alright, Miranda. Let's save before we piss you off. Commander, what can I do for you? Alright, let's talk. Have a minute, Miranda. No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. <laughs> I can help allay any I think you've been drinking too much of the Kool-Aid. So, what would you like to know? I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus's long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Salarians have the special tasks group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. But those organizations are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. We're privately funded and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. Are you military or political? Or both? Cerberus has several divisions. Political, military, scientific. But we're all working towards the same goal. The teams you encountered before your... accident were mostly part of our military division. I think there were some scientists in there. Use the same protocols. We try not to get bogged down <clears throat> in bureaucracy or formality. That uh, Dr. Wayne that I shot and killed. He was a scientist. What kind of resources does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you yeah, definitely some scientists. Normandy was a significant investment and a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure. What can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions. Even from brief... Oh, hours, how wrong you are. Sight, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he <clears> admitted <throat> humanity couldn't have a better advocate. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. <laughs> You're cocky. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. <laughs> so you're perfect. Sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe. But I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... Abilities. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. 
and it's why I was assigned she to is you. very naive though sure you succeed, very you very you naive later. I'll talk to you later okay. couldn't get anything out of that one no renegade points all right so let's go down to engineering and I'm gonna piss off the twins Sorry guys, this isn't how I normally am. You came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. I didn't hear an officer on deck. Ouch! I run this ship military. Do you two think this is all a joke? Yes, sir. I mean, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, who are you? Ouch. I'm engineer Ken Donnelly handling the power control systems. Yeah, I and seven I agree with you. I really like these two. I always have. All right. Tell me about yourselves. Did you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. Why did you leave the Perugia? After you died, that weasel Udina backslid on the Reaper menace. They discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat, as a single... Which was bullshit. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. We lost respect for Alliance leadership. We need to fight the real enemy, and only Cerberus seemed to be doing that. How did you wind up with Cerberus, Ken? Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. Uh, you should have known better than to support Dick Shepard. such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. But it got me noticed... Yeah, the twins are pretty cool. He made an offer, and here I am. So why did you join, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. He absolutely I'm would. Strong. Also, I love engines, and the Normandy is state of the art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. Damn the straight, you better. Collect us right in the daddy bags. That's enough for me. Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. Kenneth, you're complaining. What kind What's of the issue? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field grid. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. And why don't you have them? Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. You have discontinued parts on a brand new fucking ship? That is ridiculous. That's a main design, a major design oversight. Well do, Commander. All right, no renegade points from that. Yay, got some brigade. Got to deepen those scars I got. I want my eyes to glow. All right, take a quick look in the captain's cabin real fast. I don't think there's really anything. Whoa, quick load time. I don't think there's anything really here. I think I installed a mod to make the load times quicker. Let's get my music going. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's go to the bridge. So from an RPG standpoint, I would think like one of the first things I would want to do is find the original Normandy. So we're going to do that mission first. I'm going to avoid Morden Solas for a while. And the reason that is, is because as soon as you recruit Dr. Solas, you're on a timer. And it's not like a timer that's anywhere on the screen or there's like any really consequences from it. But... On that timer, you basically, once you recruit Solas after like say one or two uh, main missions, the game hijacks you and makes you do, uh, it makes, excuse me, makes you go to Horizon. And I wanna avoid doing that for as long as I can. Oh, okay, sorry, sorry, thank you. Buy some probes, here we go. All 
All right, Normandy crash site. And I'm basically only going to uh, mine on rich planets just to save time. All right. Now, see, I don't know. There's some kind of timer on it with, with Horizon. Because I've been I've played the game before where I've recruited Morden first, and then it, it hijacks me before I'm able to get some other people. But also at the same time, I'm gonna do the Morden recruit with Grunt and Garrus because I just love the dialogue for that. All right, what do we have here? Timers after Horizon. That that could be correct, but I still I'd rather take Garrus and Grunt. You know, to get Morden. All right, that's just good. I don't care about that then. Uh, this one's moderate, so don't give a shit. Uh, let's see what we got here. Moderate, so no. Let's see, go to this one. Moderate, no. I have detected an anomaly. Oh, so this one's rich. I'm going to do a bit on this one. Eh, 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 there it is. Launching probe. The research projects Palladium is used to upgrade heavy pistols, armor, and cybernetics. I'm on. There it is. Come on. Launching probe. In research projects, the green is used oh. to upgrade heavy weapons, submachine guns, and assault probe away. Come on. There it is. Launching probe. In research projects, platinum is used to upgrade sniper rifles, shotguns, and medical equipment. Oh, hello there. Yeah. Come on, I lost the sweet spot. Come on. Uh, Alright, close enough. I feel like my controller is trying to vibrate out of my hands right now. I think I've gotten enough out of it. Probe away. Jumping on our sensors. Yep, let's go. Look how fast this intro with the loading screen is. <laughs> oh, the Normandy. Poor ship. I love the sound design in this game. It's so good. So I'm going to do a save in case I accidentally end the mission before I'm ready. All right, a little dog tag. Got to find all 20 of them. There's dog tag. Okay. 
go. Joker! Oh, you remember this part? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did this in my other playthrough too. When I did my infiltrator run. Ah, free element zero. I'll take that. The Mako. Come around this way. Where's the Ezo? There it is. Okay. There we go. Good. Give me a dog tag, please. Oh, yeah, you saw it was from my playthrough. You saw this before. Yep. Yeah, I would definitely think from an RPG standpoint that, Sh that Shepard, regardless of which Renegade or Paragon, he would want some closure, you know, pretty quickly after coming back. Helmet that'll go on my cabin. Spent lots of time here. It's yes, dog tag. Entry one. Spoke to the commander about this. I corrupt all the, these damn aliens aboard the Alliance's most advanced warship. I just don't trust them. Especially that damned Asari and Aquarian. What does Shepard think this is? A zoo? Um, with the Aquarian, it seems she's on some kind of pilgrimage. Trying to improve the lot of her home, sh of her home ship. I can understand that. I would, unrecoverable data, babysit my children, or I wouldn't want, I'm guessing he's saying I wouldn't want her baby to babysit my children or anything, but if she has to be on board, I suppose it's not too bad. For a while now, and I'm taking a look back at past entries in this journal, something, how blind I was at the, at the time. I came on this ship firmly believing humanity was on its own in the galaxy. Shepard brought all these aliens on board, and there's no way we could have accomplished what we did without them. I'm proud to say, corrupt, I, you know, I'm guessing he'd say, he'd say you know, I'm proud to say I would die for any member of this crew, regardless of what world they were born on. See, I'm not sure Dick Shepard would be very happy about that, Presley. Because, well, it's Dick Shepard. Okay, no more dog tags there. Ooh, more Ezo, good. Right, we're up to, how many are we up to now? Nine, okay. Oh, the Mako. Poor Mako. The Mako totally still runs. I bet it would. I bet it could start it up. All right. It should be 10. Yep. More dog tags. That's 11. Mm 
And here's about where Caden was. Okay, that should be 12. Here's where I push the abandoned ship button. And notice the abandoned ship button is still glowing. Let's go this way. Another dog tag. That's like 13. Yep, 13. Let's see. This is where... This was down by where Ashley and Rex were. No, wait. This is the mess hall. Yep, seven to go. And Caden. Rip. Okay, it's 14, six more. Fifteen. Uh, well, damn rocks, go away. I'm at zero. These last few. Yeah, the last few are the hardest ones to find. There, so we find three more. Where are you? If I were lost, dog tags, where would I be? I get that. There's one around in here somewhere. Want to get all twenty? Yep. All right. Sorry, I got a text message here. Okay, hang tight for just a second. Armor scheme is pretty. You like that? I figure Renegade Run. I should do red. My favorite color is actually green, but I decided to do red since it's a Renegade Run. All right, three more. Where are they? Around here on the Mako? No. Up, oh, there's one. Maybe two. All right. Two more. There's one over here. No, that was the uh, 
Ezo, let's come back up this way. Okay, we got the data pad. You remember Ryder and Chair always have a red hair and grid? That's kind of my go-to. When I do character creations, I generally have always have green eyes and red hair. You know, that's one thing that's almost always consistent. I've only gone off of that formula a couple times. Where is the last one? Yep, there it is. Is that 20 or 19? That's 19. I got one more. And the last one's always the hardest one to find. Mine's either black hair and blue eyes or blonde. Hey, that's fair. Nothing wrong with that. Not in there. I've already done that one. Wait, wait. There it is. Yay! We got all 20. Alright, so I'm going to put the monument where I always put it. Which is in front of the big Normandy decal on the main ship. Right over there. Man, Shepard getting tired. He needs to work on his endurance. There we go. Ah, and there's the sad music. That may or not may or may not be your weaknesses. <laughs> hey, everybody's got one. All right, it's time to leave. The good old ship, she did me well. All right, so before I stop for the day, I'm going to go pick up Zaid and Kasumi because those are really quick pickups. See if there's any rich planets. So I doubt there should there shouldn't be any rich planets in this system just because it's such a populated system. So Omega. Bendur. Wow. I stand corrected. There is a rich planet. Come on, where's that sweet spot? Whoa, hello there. Come on, there it is. You remember Kasumi being cool, butchered her name? <laughs> yeah, I like Kasumi. Kasumi's a great character. I wish there was more to her character in this game. But Kasumi's loyalty mission is a really good loyalty mission. A lot of fun.
Come on, where's that? There it is. And Kasumi's another one of those characters that she's just cute. She's just a cute character. I think that's enough there. Wait here, just moderate. Happen to have any Ezo? Just, in, just curious. Whoa, hello there. Back out a little bit. All right, let's go. Well, let's refuel first and get more probes. You know, I almost don't know why they did the whole fuel thing and probes thing because you get so goddamn many. I mean, well, not all you get so many. They're so cheap. I mean, they really are. They're just super cheap. All right, let's dock. Damn, that's cool. Super fast loading animations. <clears throat> the fuel was a bit walky, but it's understandable. Yeah, it's just it just didn't quite it didn't quite hit home. There right, we got Brandon and Jacob. Um, I am not gonna level up just yet. At least not mine. Let's get, definitely want to get Miranda up because she has the squad health and squad damage. So she will get a whole lot of attention from me. Uh, Warper overload. I'm going to get her overload going first. Jacob, he's mostly useless. I mean, I'll get his pull going a little bit. Uh, Shepard, three options. No, I don't want that. Don't really want that. So I'll stick with that. Katana. I'll get the Geth one just because it's cool. Incisor. Incisor is your rapid file sniper rifle. Not really a damage dealer. Since I've got the, uh, you know, I've got the assault rifle. I'll stick with this one. Single shot. Um, uh, definitely want the phalanx heavy pistol here. Um, we'll stick with this grenade launcher for now. Jacob, you're good. Miranda, I don't have the locust yet, which I will get that tomorrow night, probably. Hi, welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to. Oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just... Leave, Varget, now. Oh, of course, Mockley. Whatever she wants. <laughs> Blasted scavengers, welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Uh oh Arthur wants to know what brings a dead specter to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now. Yourself. I'll do it when I feel like it. Boss when I'm damn well ready. Then you'd better get ready. No one keeps Arya waiting. Afterlife now. Have you not met Dick Shepard yet? You really don't get it, do you? The guy definitely the frizzy. Yeah, and he doesn't know who Dick Shepard is. We're gonna have to show him. All right, Zaid. Please, you have to help me. No one says you could talk, jackass. You Zaid Vasani? Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. Hey, we have a galaxy to save. We do indeed. I assume you've been briefed. I've done my homework. 
Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him, and for my bring him in alive rates even. Please, I didn't do it. They always say they didn't do it. Tried to leave me on a chase all over the systems. You should have known better. These people always run to Omega. All right, what about you and Cerberus? What's your relationship with Cerberus? Easy. Cerberus is paying me a lot of money to help you on your mission. That's the long and short. Not many mercs would take a suicide mission for the pay. Most mercs don't get an offer like the one Cerberus sent me. This mission doesn't sound like good business, but your elusive man can move a lot of credits. All right, fair enough. Go ahead and get set up on the Normandy. Right, I'll go make myself at home. I assume the elusive man told you about our <laughs> arrangement. Yeah, always a catch. I'm assuming there's some part of your contract that I'm expected to handle. That about right? Yeah. Funny he didn't tell you. Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You're sure, why not? Vito Santiago. He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Elfel Ashland refinery on Zoya and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. Sure, if we'll there's time. If we can. Our mission takes priority. I know you've got bigger fish to fry. That's why I'd like to get this other thing dealt with as soon as possible. <laughs> I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. All right, then. Did I get some renegade out of that guy? Come on, give me some renegade. Give me some renegade. Come on. Yeah, you got that renegade. Good. All right, let's get back to the Normandy. We got to go to the Citadel. We got to pick up Kasumi. Shot him like a cowboy. Yep. It's really sad. The uh, the voice actor for Zaid died a few years ago. Not long after Mass Effect 3 came out, to be honest. All right. Any email? Unreal messages. Ah, I'm Rahavik. To Commander Shepard, the Alliance was grateful to receive the information you found at the Normandy's crash site, and we sent it out to the affected families. By finding those dog tags, you have provided peace of mind for a lot of people, Commander. I thank you on their behalf. Robin Sachs. That, that yep, that sounds about right. I think that was. I think you're right. I think that was his name. All right, let's leave orbit. Mass relay. Lots of things to do. Ton of things to do. All right. Okay, we got to do it. We got to do it once. It is a requirement on playing this game. Where is it? Here we go. I'll be quiet. <laughs> oh, just doesn't get old. Probing Uranus. Probing Uranus. All right, I'm done. I couldn't resist it. All right, off to the Citadel. Supposedly constructed by the long extinct Protheans, this colossal deep space station serves as the capital of the Citadel Council. Gravity is simulated through rotation and is a comfortable 1.02 standard G's on the wards and a light 0.3 standard G's on the Presidium ring. Yeah, it's a rite of passage. It is. It's super important. It's got to be done.
All right, so Kasumi should be pretty much right here. Nope, not ready yet. Commander Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift. I like her dialogue just keeps going. Problems with collectors? Try Kasumi's credit services. <laughs> Some of these are pretty good. Commander Shepard, we have the finest companions waiting for you. Perhaps she, something petite, smart, and Japanese would be your style. She is a fine companion. No doubt about it. Just enter your password for a fabulous prize package worth millions of credits. Okay, really? How many times can you walk by without <laughs> stopping? I wonder how far this goes. Commander Shepard, enter the power. Oh, that's it? Okay. Free gift. Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Cut the crap. You know who I am, Kasumi. I'm not here to play games. I heard you were hardcore, Chef, but I figured you'd be up for some intrigue. Kasumi Goto at your service. But you apparently already knew that. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm fine as an understatement. Me My fault for being hard to find, I guess. What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. You sure? <laughs> what makes you so sure? There's a certain aura about you. Like you've seen things no one else has. Even without knowing what you looked like, I knew it was you. You would go with a nice piece of Kasumi? <laughs> oh, I understand. I, don't, I can't say I blame you. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me. So I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission. And were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here All we are. Right. All right, well, let's head out. We've got a spot set up for you on the Normandy. Make yourself at home. Looking forward to it. Haven't done this kind of thing before. Big mission, saving the galaxy. I'm really glad you're helping me out with the heist. Can't wait to see how you look in formal wear. <laughs> Not interested. Okay, let's see. Hopefully this doesn't screw me. I don't think it will, though. you're stealing something from the collectors, I'm not interested. This is part of my deal with Cerberus. Hear me out before you say no. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it. You're gonna say nice piece of ass, but yeah. Uh, just wait, you'll see it. What's this heist you're planning? Not here, Shepard. You'll get a briefing when the time comes. I need time to nail down the details anyway. I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. You want to look presentable. What do you All know right, about Donovan? and Donovan? Mr. Hawk is a well-respected businessman. Arms dealer, murderer, generally not a great guy. His mansion's famous for being hard to crack, but I have a way in, and I think you're gonna love it. That sounds way better than fine. She is super cute. I, don't I like Kasumi. Kind of guy who takes kindly to people sneaking into his house. I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. I assume a gray box is some kind of hardware? It's a neural implant. Illegal in most places. Stores memories, thoughts, secret codes, illicit information. This one in particular? Belong to my partner, Keiji Okuda. We worked together for a long time. You know, it's interesting the way they describe a gray box where, you know, stores memories, thoughts, all that stuff. That sounds like something that would be based on Reaper Tech. You know, based on all the different, you know, the different Reaper Tech in the game, it's all like, you know, super adaptive, like working with thought control and things like that. I mean, that sounds like that would be Reaper Tech. I never thought of that until just now. Tell me about this former partner of yours. His name was Keiji Okuda, the best hacker and entry man I've ever known. Unfortunately, he slipped up and made himself infamous. He stole something he shouldn't. He warned me it was bad, something that could spark interstellar war if it got out. That information got him killed. 
What did it say? He found so bad. He wouldn't say what it was, just that it was dangerous. He said if it got out, humanity would be in trouble. He encrypted it, wrapped it up in his own memories. To decode the information, you have to sift through all the time we spent together. Now those memories are all that's left of him. All right. Let's get it back. The information's deadly. We have to keep it out of the wrong hands. Donovan Hawk is the last man I'd want holding this information. We'll see All what right. we can do. No guarantees. Sure. But I bet you're dying to see what it's like to come along on a heist with me. I am indeed. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. And there she goes. All right, let, let that finish adding up. See how many Renegade points I got. And then I'm going to go to one of the stores because I want to test where my Renegade is sitting at right now on how I could do some of these morality checks before I get done. All right, good. All right, so now... Oh, I have to go through the thing. I was hoping to wait to have to go through the thing. Hello. Can I help you, sir? It's been a couple of years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. We apologize for the inconvenience. You'd think a Geth would stand out. Assumptions are dangerous. Be alert. <laughs> be safe. Thanks for your time. Next. They're being quite stupid. Figured they say something about our weapons. Shut it down. Commander Shepard, sorry. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're uh, <laughs> dead. I'm getting that everywhere. It's a pain in the ass. Who do I talk to about it? We need to get that cleared up for you. Officially, sir, only CSEC are allowed to have weapons on the Citadel now. Then consider mine unofficial. Don't tell me you're going to take my guns. The people at Novaria tried that way. Oh, wow. Didn't work. Oh, don't worry. We got word from the CSEC executor's office that you should be allowed to keep your weapons. That's surprising. Executor Palin didn't seem to like me last time I was here. Pal. He was killed by Geth in the Battle of the Citadel. Oh, interesting. CSEC's current commander is DC and Chelly. He said, you tend to find trouble, and you need to be armed. <laughs> <laughs> Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you in our city. See, that's how long I hadn't heard before. Chelik was the dude that, um, the officer went out and to, had to get that girl out of Korra's den in Mass Effect 1. You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not going to tell you everything just because you ask. I, I... Hello, Bailey. I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. But you're not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Yeah, leave it alone. You got a soft spot for a badass woman? I, I kind of do too, so I understand. Don't change it. Anonymity is useful on my current mission. Sure, you're a goddamn hero. It's not like we have to worry about you smuggling guns in or something. Yeah, I've got them all over me. I just put a block in the system. Officially, you still don't exist. Nice! And you won't get hassled by the security checkpoints. You should head up to the Presidium, though. The Council would probably like to know that one of their lost specters is still kicking. What's the easiest way to get to the Presidium from down here? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. <laughs> Screw the council. They didn't make much effort to confirm my death. I'll make about as much effort to tell them I'm alive. Fair enough. But if you have any friends in the Presidium Tower, they might want to know you're all right. I heard you and Admiral Anderson used to be pretty tight. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? Nah, that's all for now. You need anything else? Let me know. I'll talk to him more later. I want to check the stores just to make sure... That my, uh, see where my Paragon Renegade checks are at. All right. I hear this is the best place for food on Zakara Ward. You hey. Wrong. This is the best place for food on the whole damn citadel. Why can't I talk to somebody? 
What's in here? Oh, provisions. We get that for Gardner. Yeah, let's get that. Uh, Ascension novel. Sure, why not? Yeah, let's get all of the stuff. All right, let's try over here, maybe. Well, she got a promotion. Hey, it exploded on me. There was no defiling. Hello. Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Yay, show. here we go. You know, for a bunch of cheap touristy crap, your prices are pretty high. I am sorry you feel that way. There are many stores on the Citadel. Perhaps another would be more in your price range. So, you're saying I'm poor? Just because I'm not as well off as you doesn't mean you can hold yourself above me. <laughs> What? Oh, shit. No, I... Uh. Everyone, this store discriminates against the poor. Uh, please, <laughs> down. As an apology, I'll let you have my station employee discount. Is that acceptable? Well, all right. But you still hurt my feelings. Please, enjoy your shopping experience. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Space hamster! Gotta have space hamster! No fish, not yet. I need to seduce Kelly and to uh, feed my fish. All right. So my, uh, I know my renegade thing is still doing okay. So good. At least I didn't have to do that recording that says it's a fa my favorite shop on the Citadel. Hey, what, what was it you called him earlier? Shepage? That was definitely a savage shepherd. I mean, a renegade to get from that. I didn't say. Uh, where are we at here? Yeah, we're moving along on the uh, on the score there. All right, so I'm gonna go back to Normandy, and I am going to call it for the night. So make it a good start in the game tomorrow. You know, like I was saying before, I'm gonna try to avoid getting Morden for as long as reasonably possible. I definitely want to get Grunt and get um, uh, get Garrus before I get more, just because I like the dialogue with them on that mission. Also, I'm going to go ahead and try to do... Um, I'm going to try to do Kasumi, and I'm going to try to do Zaid's loyalty missions tomorrow as well. So tomorrow, that's at least... That's going to be five solid missions tomorrow, uh, depending on, you know, you know, other stuff that we might get done as well. So thank you very much for everybody for coming out. I hope to see y'all tomorrow and have a great evening. See y'all later.